What up book lovers, it is G Swizz here and what is this? I'm gonna do a video on my series TBR for 2016, what series I am planning to read this year. If you didn't notice, I own a lot of full series and you probably wonder why I never mention them in my videos. That's because I haven't read any of them. I have read a bunch of books on my TBR, and I am currently in the middle of getting through a few of these series. I currently have, I think, around 50 unread series. I at least want to get through between 7 to 10 series this year, um, yeah, and complete them all. So this video is pretty much just going to be my series TBR for the year, which will probably demolish the majority of my TBR. Please bear in mind that majority of these books are full series on my shelves, or in some cases, um, maybe the last book hasn't come out yet, but I have all the other books and I'm willing to complete them throughout this year. So I'm gonna start today with two book series that I'm currently in the middle of. The first one is going to be the Harry Potter series by JK Rowling. I'm currently past halfway in the Order of the Phoenix. I have now got Half-Blood Prince and the Deathly Hallows to finish. Next book series I have here, I'm also currently in the middle of the series, the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. I have finished the first two books. I now have Shadow Kiss, which is number three, Blood Promise, which is number four, Spirit Bound, which is number five, and Last Sacrifice, which is number six. The next books on here are book series that I have not yet started, but I want to start and I want to complete. The next series isn't a completed series, but it will be completed within the next month or two. I totally forgot whether it was March or April that this book, the last book gets released. Raven Cycle Quartet. I have the first three books here. Um, I'm ready to read The Raven Boys this month. I've just got to do that after I finish reading The Order of the Phoenix. Like, look at those covers, man. Look at those covers. The next series that I have on here are The Kane Chronicles by Rick Riordan. If you don't know, Rick Riordan is the author of the Percy Jackson series and the Heroes of Olympus series. This series I'm planning to read before the Heroes of Olympus this year. I want to see where Percy and Annabeth um, intertwine with these characters. Next book series is also a main priority because I've had this series on my shelf for a while. It is the Grisha Trilogy by Leigh Bardugo. We have Shadow and Burn, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising. This book series I've heard nothing but great things about. It's also blurbed by like one of my favorite authors of all time, Veronica Roth, like, and she keeps on saying that she even wants it to be a movie, like she loves this series so much. And I trust her judgment, so I really want to re read this series and see what the hype is about. I'm on book two, and I haven't even read this series, and it's like one of the most hyped book series on booktube like ever. It is the Shatter Me Trilogy by Tahara Mathi. These book covers are so gorgeous. I was waiting for a very long time to get these book covers because the Australian book covers are hideous for this book series. Like if, if you think that it, the girl like with the shiny cover and stuff like that in the white dress, that is not the Australian cover. The Australian cover are like really dark with this weird girl and hair blowing in her face. It's so weird. Also, I forgot to mention this series at the beginning of the video, um, along with Harry Potter and Vampire Academy, like a book series that I'm planning to finish off this year. Chaos Walking Trilogy. I've read the first book. I haven't read the um, second two books. Now, one of my TBR jar challenges are um, read a book or series that you DNF'd. This is a series that I DNF'd, particularly because I wasn't a, the biggest fan of the first book, but I have the whole series because I loved the cover so much and I don't want to get rid of this this series. Um, and I heard that the next, like, the next two books follow other characters as well as Todd. It's also from Viola's perspective and one of the spackles, and I want to see how that plays out. I'm gonna give this trilogy another shot. Next book series I mentioned earlier, it is The Heroes of Olympus by Rick Riordan. I have the full series. Don't judge me, I got the box set, okay? Another series that I have on here, I have recently got from the book depository, as well as majority of these series, is The Darkest Minds Trilogy by Alexandra Bracken. It makes a sentence, by the way. 
the darkest minds never fade in the afterlife. I don't get what that sentence really means, but I'll find out once I read this series. The last series I have on here um, that I really, 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 really want to get to, but I want to get to it more towards the end of the year. I'm, I'm wanting to know how to read fantasy at like a higher level, if that makes sense. And I hear that this series requires a lot of like patience and also a lot of world building. It is the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. How gorgeous are these covers? They don't sell these covers in Australia. I like them. They are so worth it. Yeah, so it starts off with the Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of God and Gods and Monsters. I want to get to the series, so yeah. I'm going to suggest that you don't ask me to pick up all these series. That is going to be it for this video today. Follow me on my social medias. I'm at GSwizzleBooks on Twitter and Instagram. And I'm at Goodreads. That's www.goodreads.com slash GSwizzle. I love you book lovers and I will see you soon. Peace.